Hey guys, you can buy a lot of different servos. So you can buy very cheap ones, expensive ones, or very expensive ones. But which one is the best? In this video we are going to find out. So guys, in today's video we are going to compare some servos and this is going to be interesting. Let me tell you why. All of these servos are rated for 35 kilograms, but there's a big difference in price. So you will pay around uh, 10 bucks for this one, 15 bucks, 25, 35, 45 and over 100 bucks for this one. But is this one the best one? Well, we are going to find out and the result may surprise you. So let me first unpack everything and then we are going to have a closer look at all the servos. All of the servos came with some accessories, so inside the box you will find some mounting gear, we've got servo horns and we've got a screw to mount the servo horn onto the servo. But what's very interesting is that the two most expensive one have got only plastic servo horns and even the cheapest one has got a metal one. So I'm going to invest which one is best with accessories. This servo came with only two servo horns, which is fewest of all, but the build quality of those servo horns is just amazingly. So this is like a lightweight aluminium, but this aluminium feels very sturdy, and therefore I think that this is the clear winner with the accessories. So let's have a closer look at all the servos and the build quality of those. The two cheapest servos has got the same build quality. So you've got a plastic bottom, aluminium middle part and we've got a plastic top part and the quality feels all okay. I have had worse than these so yeah the build quality is fine. So all of the other ones are made from aluminium except for this one. So this one has got the aluminium top piece, aluminium middle piece but we've got a plastic bottom piece and I think that's a bit strange. Even the more cheapest one is co are completely made of aluminium and look at this one guys. This one really looks amazingly. So for the weight, these two, uh, yeah, has got exactly the same weight. This one is a little bit more lightweight than these, but this one has got a smaller profile and this one is the lightest from them all. So let's open the servers up and see what's inside there. I opened all of the servos and found out that they all have got some metal gears and some ball bearings inside there. Also there are some rubber seals inside there for, uh, to prevent water from getting in there, except for this one. So this one is not waterproof, but the other ones are waterproof, so that's a thumbs up. So the build quality of those four are just the same, and it looks like this. So you've got a motor, we've got some print board, we've got a potential meter, and of course all of the gears. So these two are just identical, except for the housing. So the motor the print board, the gears and everything, these are just identical but with a different housing. So these two are completely different, let me show you that. These two servers are built completely different from the other ones, just look underneath here. You've got one big print board instead of the simple print board like this one, so yeah this is a totally different story. This one is a brushless system so that's also a difference, but just look at the build quality you know, those two just look superb. The winner in this case are those two, so these are completely different for the other ones. These are the second place and these are just the last place, you know. So let's reassemble those and then we are going to do the sound check. I reassembled all of the servos and now it's time to listen to the sound they make. I'm going to use a servo tested and a small battery and then we are going to listen how they sound. So guys that is the sound that I make and according to the price if the price increases the sound reduces in my opinion. So this one was the most quiet one, then this one the echo boost and these all were yeah a bit noisy in my opinion. Especially when it had some load so when I put my finger against the, the servo horn then these were just very very noisy in my opinion. So for the sound test I think that these two are the clear winners. So now we are going to lift some weights.
So guys, I just made a very simple setup and over here we've got 6 kg for weights. Then we have got a very long servo horn with some different holes. So when you use a hole which is further away from the center, the stress on the servo increases. So we are going to test them all and we are going to start with a cheaper servo and then we are going to work our way up to the most expensive one. So let's test the first one. That was a very interesting test and it even surprised me. So the most powerful server on the table is this one for sure. I added all the way on the furthest hole and even put my finger on the servo uh, to give it some extra weight. But this one did it with ease. The second place is this one. This is also a very very powerful servo. So there are two servos which are very disappointing. And then are these two. So these two yeah, didn't perform pretty well. So this one even beat those two. And that's pretty surprising. Because this one is a very cheap servo. But yeah it was more strong than these two. So yeah I'm, not, I'm a bit disappointed in those two. And this one did an okay job you know. But those two make a lot of noise. But still they performed pretty well. So now we are going to speed test the servos. I just made a small setup to test the speed of the servo, so let's find out which one is fastest of these three. So here we go from one side all the way to the other side. So this one is definitely more uh, fast than this one. You definitely can see that this one is slower. But these two are almost the same. I think that this one is a little bit faster than the three of them. So let's say that this is the fastest, this is the second one and that's the third one. So let's test the other ones. This one for sure is the slowest, but I have to see for these two which one is faster. So let's unplug this one and let's have a closer look at those. This one is definitely the most fast of all. Now let's see which is fastest of those two. Yeah, these two are just identical for sure. So yeah, let me sort everything and show you the results. 
that was the speed test and the fastest of them all is for sure this one. Then came this one and these are just the shared spot. And that's not a coincidence because in internally in this uh, in these two you know they were just identical. So that is not a surprise that they were just as fast. And this did an okay job and this was definitely the most slow servo of them all you know. But this is the most cheaper ones. So that was the testing guys. So these tests is just the first for me and it really surprised me. So in this case if you pay a little bit more then you will have a better product for sure in this case so this is the most expensive one but it's the fastest one it's got the most power it's uh, yeah overall build quality is very nice there's only one nitpick i have and that is it didn't came with any metal servo horns or something like that and that's the only downside of this one but yeah for the money it's the most expensive one but it's the best servo here on the table then the ecoboost that's uh, definitely the second place and these were a little bit disappointing in my opinion so you will pay around uh, at what thing 25 and 35 for these two servos but this one had more power than those two so that's a bit disappointing but the build quality i really like the build quality of those so the gears inside there looks uh, much more tougher than those two you know so therefore maybe i still recommend those above this one but yeah maybe it's a draw you know not for sure but this one is the cheapest one and it performed yeah as a cheap one as you would to expect but overall i think it was very nice to see how everything performs regarding to the prices and everything and in this case for sure if you pay more you will get a better servo all right guys that was it for today thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel if you got any questions or suggestions leave a comment below and i will see you in the next video bye bye